Hey folks, welcome back to Chris White Africa. This is Chris. I'm at Fort Carson, Colorado, home of the 4th Infantry Division. And I'm out here uh, doing some things and I thought I'd take a look here over at Fort Carson at the static display by the parade field and show you some of the weaponry that's out here in this short video. Some of these I can identify immediately off site, some of the others I get a little bit wrong and so bear with me if I get it right. This of course is the M1 Abrams tank, the most advanced tank on the planet. One that I was in an armor battalion from the 3rd Battalion, 8th Cavalry during the Gulf War. And uh, this is what we had, M1A1s. But there were M1A1 heavies, which had a better suspension than the ones produced previously. And this is an uh, amazing, amazing piece of weaponry right there. 120 millimeter gun on the front of it. And over here is the AH-1. Cobra attack helicopter, check it out folks. There you go, right there, the Cobra. I love the paint job on that. You got the Fort Carson logo on the tail there too. The unit markings, little teeth on it there. You can see the chain gun in the front there. AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter. First field in 1965, folks. This was still in the inventory in the 1990s. Marines were still using it beyond that. See the rocket launcher pods on the side there? Pretty crazy, huh? And behind there, you can see the Rocky Mountains. Pikes Peak is off in the distance from here, from Cor Fort Carson. Over here, this is a blast from the past, from the, it's the M2, I think, half track from the Second World War. First design, uh, fielded in 1940, if I'm not mistaken, a half track. Of course, it's a half track because the vehicle's half tracked and half wheeled. Yep, the M2 half track, 1940. It's a smaller uh, counterpart to the M3, which is a more famous one. This is a really small one, the M2. Pretty cool static display here, isn't it? Over here, this is the M59, I think it is. Armored personnel carrier, predecessor of the M113. And it replaced the M75, if I'm not mistaken. You look over here on the information panel. Very quick, yeah, it's the M59, 1951, it was fielded. And it did replace the M75. There's an M75 up there. There's the Sherman tank. Check it out. Famous in World War II. This one's got fourth ID markings on the back of it there. Sherman tank, and over here is the M60. That's the tank that was the main tank in the US Army inventory when I first came in the Army, the early 1980s, and stayed in the Army till replaced by the M1A1. But this is the M4 Sherman medium tank from 1944. Ubiquitous during the Second World War. And the M60 was our main battle tank for decades until it was replaced by the M1A1. 1979, this one was first fielded, the M60A3 Patton main battle tank. And this, near and dear to my heart, folks, that's the M42 Duster anti-aircraft artillery. I served in a unit in the Ohio National Guard with these up until 1989 when I came back on active duty. The M42 Duster twin 40 millimeter cannons. There you go. First fielded in 1952. And I will tell you that the vehicles that we had in the 1980s, the newest one was from 1956. And we had it till 89. It's crazy, isn't it? M42 Duster. Wow. That's a blast from the past. And here's the M75. This is the personnel carrier that predated the other one I showed you. Much higher silhouette, made it a nice target. See how high that is off the ground. It's much taller than I am, about twice my height, almost. The M75 armored personnel carrier. 1952, it was first fielded. There's the UH-1, the Huey utility helicopter. Over here is the M113. This was ubiquitous too. This was the armored personnel carrier that replaced the M59. It's the 75, then the 59, then the 113. And this was what we used forever. We still use this when we went to the Gulf War in the early 1990s. This was first fielded in 79 as well. And different variants of, the, variants of this, like the M577, which was a command track, which had a higher silhouette. So you could stack radios and stuff in it and put staff in the back. This is what I rode around in during the Gulf War. So here you go, Huey, UH-1, workhorse US military for decades, decades. This one's first fielded in 1966, UH-1H. And over here, this is an artillery piece. I can't remember which one it is, 
I want to say it's an 8 inch self propelled but I could be wrong about that looking at it it's an older one though but there's no marker here to tell us what it is so I'm going to have to guess and that's the static display here folks I hope you found it interesting here at Fort Carson Colorado you can see the Rocky Mountains in the background behind the Huey just back there sky's a little bit better tonight as the haze clears off from the California fires that have been burning out here and I hope that you found this informative and useful if, and, and uh, feel free to give it a like if you don't mind and let people know about it. I know some people really enjoy this video, others may not so much, but this is uh, former hardware, former weapon systems, transport systems from the U.S. military going back to the Second World War. Thanks a lot, folks. This is Chris. Have a lovely day.